Hi everyone, what's up? It's Joshua here from Alternative Brewing. And today we're gonna to be brewing coffee using the Chemex Classic Six Cup Brewer. Now the Chemex Coffee Maker is a world renowned coffee maker, iconic for its hourglass figure, the heat resistant wooden handle, and the fact that it is one piece of durable borosilicate glass. And the Chemex Classic is a pour over style coffee that uses significantly thicker paper filters than pretty much all other pour over methods do. And this degree of filtration to your coffee is what gives the Chemex coffee a very clean flavor, void of even the smallest fine grinds. And the texture to the brewed coffee is often referred to as silky smooth. Now, the Chemex brewer comes in a three, six, eight, and 10 cup brewer, and you can find the models with wood handles as well as glass, with a variety of different filters also available sold separately, like the pre-folded circles or squares, and even a reusable metal filter like the Able Cone. So, interested in getting brewing with this distinguished brewer, or perhaps looking for an aesthetically pleasing piece for the kitchen, you can find everything Chemex related in this link up above. But for now, let's jump straight in and brew a coffee using the classic Chemex six cup brewer. Now these first two steps are pretty fundamental approaches in getting a good Chemex brew from the start. First things first, with the paper filter out of the box, you'll notice that it's folded twice in half. We want to keep it folded, but we're going to open it up to make the cone, making sure that there's one side of the filter with one sheet thick, and then the other side is going to be three sheets thick. And then when we place it in the brewer, we want to make sure that the filter paper with the three sides thick is facing towards the spout of the Chemex. And if you don't do this, then it may end up making an airtight seal with the filter, and then the coffee will take extra long to drip down through. And secondly, from here, we're going to need to rinse the paper filter before anything. Because it is a thicker paper filter, there's more paper involved, and you're far more likely to end up with a papery taste in the final cup if you don't rinse this paper filter out thoroughly enough. And the bonus here is we're gonna be getting that Chemex nice and warm prior to brewing. Then we're just gonna throw that rinse water out and it's time to measure out our beans. So using a brew ratio of 60 grams of beans per one liter of water, in my recipe, I'll be using 35 grams of beans to 580 mils of water. I find grinding on a medium grind setting or slightly finer or coarser than this gets me the best results for taste. Add the grounds to the filter and then add a little well to the center of the grounds. And this is where we're going to pour into when we add our bloom water of 70 mils at 96 degrees Celsius for our pre-infusion. Ensuring all the grounds get wet with a swirl of the Chemex till you see the slurry all move around as one. Now you can let it sit here pre-infusing for up to 45 seconds, and this helps allow those grounds to degas, seen as little bubbles escaping from the brew. And that little bit of extra time also ensures that the water fully saturates the dose. But once that time has elapsed, you can begin pouring your water once again. Now you can go and add all the water in one steady pour here, give it a stir at the top and then let it drain. And I do this regularly myself as I find it is less time consuming and makes a decent coffee with the Chemex. But there is a method I do also enjoy using from time to time to get the richest, sweetest coffee. And that is pulse pouring with the kettle. So doing four or five weighed out pours into the Chemex over the duration of the brew. So after the initial bloom, my first pour is going to add around three times the amount of bloom water, so 210 mils in the next 30 seconds. Then from one minute 30, begin to add the rest of your water in three even pours, every 30 seconds after that. So for me, that's 100 mils at one minute 30, two minutes, and two minutes 30. And regardless of how you've added your water, once it's all in, give the brewer a stir at the top with a spoon to help it draw down nice and evenly. Now it's always good to check at this point whether there is still air able to escape through the spout of the Chemex. If it is blocked, what will happen is your brew will stall and it will stop dripping. So all you need to do is break that seal, either by lifting the filter slightly and then it'll start dripping again, or placing a spoon or a chopstick down the Chemex spout and that will also break the seal too. 
Now the aim for the brew time is around four to six minutes, and it's a little bit longer than other pour over brews because of this thick paper filter, but you can also comfortably make coffee for two or three people using the Chemex, and these bigger batches will naturally take longer to make, yet are still very balanced in their flavor with that extended brew time. Once it's done, it's time to serve up. Remove the filter, give it a swirl, and then you can pour it straight out into your glasses. Now, if you want to impress your friends with a barista trick, then you can pour two coffees at once using the Chemex by pouring very slowly on an off angle to the spout. Get the brew to begin pouring out away from the spout first, then slightly rock it back to get it pouring out of the spout too. Perhaps practice this with some water first so there's no embarrassment or worse wasted coffee. And by making a stronger brew, you can easily enjoy a Chemex coffee with or without milk and pouring it over ice will make a delicious cold brew come time for it. And cleanup is super easy. The paper filter can be thrown in the garden as compost and that's pretty much it. Just a good rinse and dry out of the Chemex brewer itself is enough to keep it clean. But the wood neck can be removed if you wanna place the Chemex in the dishwasher. And that's the Chemex Classic Coffee Brewer for you. It's an absolute champion of a pour over brewer. Unmistakable in its design, it brews a really great cup of coffee. So if you have any questions on the Chemex Brewer, you can throw them in the comments section down below and we'll get straight back to you. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon on your screen and that way you stay notified when we bring out new videos, just like this every week. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.